In the opening scene, we see a young boy, Jason Brady, playing his guitar. He loves singing, so he has a YouTube channel with several fans. Jason attends Sade Adeline Catholic School with his sister Zoe. The head of the nun, Sister Rebecca, welcomes them, while another nun, Sister Sophia, observes them from the principal's office. Rebecca returns to her office to welcome Sophia, while explaining the school regulations to her. Rebecca informs Sophia that sisters are not allowed to wear makeup in school. She then passes a tissue to her to remove her makeup. While touring the school, they meet Jason, and Rebecca introduces him to Sophia, his new homeroom teacher. She also tells Sophia about the issues Jason has been going through. She takes Sophia to her room, and moments later, Sophia watches YouTube videos of Jason and starts kissing her laptop. That's certainly unusual. In the next scene, Sophia overhears Jason playing at the school. She approaches him to offer encouragement and support, letting him know she's there for him if he ever needs anything. Later in class, a popular student, Sarah, tries to flirt with Jason, and Sophia sees them. Sophia gets irritated and decides to teach her a lesson by confiscating her lipstick and reprimanding her. After class, Zoe talks to Jason about how odd their new teacher is behaving, but he is distracted by Sarah's message. Moments later, Sophia approaches Jason and asks him if Sarah is his girlfriend, but he denies it and claims he has no girlfriend. That night, while watching Jason's video, Sophia sees Sarah's lipstick and instantly gets annoyed, so she destroys it. The following day, Sarah and Jason meet up again, and they take their flirting further with a kiss. Sophia sees them again, and she couldn't contain her anger. She commands Jason to leave and threatens Sarah to stay away from Jason. Later after class, Sophia pulls Jason aside to discuss the misunderstanding, reminding him of his claim of being single and questioning his intimacy with Sarah. He apologizes and she asks him to visit her room after class. He hesitates about it because students can't visit the teacher's room, but she reassures him that it's no big deal since she invited him. After class, Jason goes to Sophia's room but finds out that her door is slightly opened. He peeks inside and sees Sophia with just her underwear on, and she rubs her body seductively while pretending not to notice Jason's presence. Mesmerized by what he is seeing, Jason eventually walks away. At night, he can't stop himself from thinking about his seductive teacher. He even fantasizes about getting intimate and making out with her. The following morning, Sophia questions Jason's absence, and he offers an apology. The students are going home for the weekend, and Jason's mother comes to pick them up. Before leaving, Sarah tells Jason to call her if his homestay is relieved. Not wanting anything to happen between them, Sophia meets with Rebecca and fabricates a story about her sick aunt in the hospital, securing permission to visit her over the weekend. That night, Jason gets into an argument with his parents regarding his future ambition. He requests a school break for his music career, but his father disagrees. Disappointed, he walks out of the house and goes outside to play his keys. Meanwhile, Sophia goes to his house and spies on him. When she witnesses him receiving a call from Sarah, suggesting that Sarah is still close to him, she gets furious and returns to her car to drink. Suddenly, she's seen having a sinister thought in mind. That night, Sophia sneaks into Sarah's room and puts a piece of marijuana in her book. But when she comes outside, Rebecca, who has seen her enter, confronts her and asks what she is doing. She says she heard some noises and came to check on Rebecca. So Rebecca tells her she should report any unusual activity she finds. In the class the next day, she asks the students to open the exact page where she kept the marijuana. As she had planned, Sophia immediately takes this chance to frame Sarah and get rid of her. As a result, Sarah is suspended despite desperately claiming her innocence. Sophia suggests checking other students, as such incidents rarely occur in isolation. When they search Jason's room, they find alcohol. Knowing that things are going as she planned, Sophia is seen smiling by the side. When Rebecca demands to call his father, Jason pleads that his father would be furious. So Sophia proposes they discipline him by making him spend the next weekend at school. In the next scene, a flashback is shown of how she gets obsessed with Jason after stalking him online. It turns out that the real sister Sophia is murdered by her, while she disguises her identity to get close to Jason. At the weekend, Zoe decides to stay with Jason. When Jason does his punishment, Sophia comes to meet her and opens her top, revealing her cleavage. At night, she sneaks into his room, sets her camera, and seduces him to have intercourse with her. Jason wakes in regret as he receives a message from Zoe to have breakfast. 
Later he meets with Sophia, but she tells him he doesn't have to think about what happened last night. Sophia goes to his room and sniffs his boxers. This is also when Zoe arrives, and she sees Sophia there. When Zoe questions Sophia's presence, Sophia insists it's part of her routine search. Zoe feels something is wrong, so she meets Jason to find out more, but he can't bring himself to confess to her. This is when Sophia sees Zoe as a hindrance and plans to get rid of her. She intentionally gives Zoe lower test scores but offers her a retest after class, knowing Zoe's college aspirations. Zoe is really excited about this. After Zoe leaves the class, Sophia deliberately puts the answer to the history test on her table and leaves. When Zoe returns to the retest, she unintentionally glimpses at the answers. Sophia enters immediately and accuses Zoe of her dishonest act. She takes her to Rebecca and insists that Zoe should be permanently suspended from the school. However, due to Zoe's great track record, Rebecca doesn't answer Sophia. She asks Sophia to leave and advises Zoe to do better. She talks about how great Sophia is, but Zoe complains that Sophia is odd and she is difficult from their other teachers. In fact, Sophia doesn't say the morning prayers. This makes Rebecca a little suspicious of Sophia. Jason feels bad about what he has done and seeks to confess, only to find out that he has confessed to Sophia. She appears in front of him and starts seducing him, ultimately leading to intercourse. That day, a bishop makes a customary visit to the school. The bishop has met with the real Sophia before, so he sings great praises of Sophia to Rebecca, who begs to differ because the Sophia they have known is very strict. Panicked as Sophia sees the bishop, she immediately packs her loads and walks to her car. When Rebecca looks for her, she falsely claims she got a hospital call about her sick aunt and has to leave. At home, Jason gets into another issue with his father. He insists on taking a break from school and his father tells him that he doesn't have faith in him. He walks out of the house and goes to join Sarah at a party, still obsessively stalking Jason. Sophia decides to follow him. At the party, Sarah tries to make out with him, but Jason suddenly remembers making out with Sophia and walks away. He's caught by police with alcohol in his hands and luckily, Sophia comes to his rescue. She takes him to a hotel and requests for him to help her with changing her dress. She persuades him with promises of wealth and the life he desires, but he declines and departs. This gets her utterly upset as she vents her anger. Jason's father feels bad about his decision and goes to find him. His father eventually finds him, agrees to let him take a music career break, and they go back home. Sophia's deep depression keeps her outside Jason's house all night. As she drives off the next day, Zoe notices her car. Zoe suspects something between the two and decides to copy Sophia's car plate for research. When Jason returns to his room, he sees Sophia lying motionless on his bed and assumes she has overdosed on drugs. He tries to save her, but she kisses him. He insists he doesn't want anything to do with her, but she seductively threatens him and touches his crotch before leaving. As the class is about to start, Rebecca brings Sarah back, claiming her sentence is over. Sarah returns to flirt with Jason as usual, and knowing that this will keep Sophia away, he gives her the attention, as they are seen having fun together. Sophia is seen madly jealous alone. She then plans to permanently get rid of Sarah. That night as Sarah is bathing, Sophia kills her by hitting her head against the wall. She puts a soap bar on the floor to disguise it as an accident. Jason suspects Sophia, and when he accuses her, she shows him the video of their first intercourse and insists he must follow her. Sophia informs Rebecca about her aunt's demise and requests for some time off again. She decides to join Jason's family during their dinner, and they welcome her. She keeps touching Jason during the meal, and this calls for Zoe's suspicions. Meanwhile, Rebecca contacts the hospital to send flowers as condolences for Sophia's aunt, only to learn that there's no record of the person. This raises her suspicions. Jason eventually confesses to Zoe and they decide to gather evidence against Sophia. The following day, Zoe and Jason break into Sophia's room to find out about her and they find a hidden laptop that reveals Sophia's real identity as Laura. On the other hand, Rebecca accuses Sophia of lying and attempts to report her, but Sophia attacks her and she is left unconscious. The kids take the laptop to Rebecca, but after knocking, they receive no response. They go to the chapel to find Rebecca and Sophia meets them there. 
When they confront her, she claims it is Jason who has brought her there. She attacks them and Rebecca comes to their rescue, but she starts strangling Rebecca. While distracted, Jason brings out the screwdriver in his pocket and stabs her to death. Months later, Jason and Zoe are seen graduating from school and receiving gifts from their parents while having a closer family relationship. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, leave a like to help the channel out, also leave a comment if you'd like us to recap your favorite movie. Thanks for watching.